Okay, so we are back at... And let me just get this fired up. Uh, looks like it's unpaused, which is good. Okay, so uh, we are back here at uh, Beauvais. Uh, back at uh, Beauvais Thiel Airport outside of Paris. Uh, we're going to be doing the return sector uh, to Manchester. So let me just get a little bit of this going. And yeah, so we're going to uh, do the return leg to Manchester and then that will be it for the couple of uh, flights that we've got in um, uh, Pilot's Life Chapter 2. So I'll just bring this over here. So this is the last one here today. Uh, you can see it's Paris to Manchester and then in the uh, in the schedule we've actually that's the last one so then I'll do a new schedule so I'm not 100% sure what I'll do next I might see if I can do just a few random flights um, over here in um, Australia or something um, or I might do change to another airline and do some different flights and legs and stuff but yeah, so just go on, touching on the last flight there, the score was a little bit lower. I was looking at this, and I, it was because we exceeded the or exceeded the the bank angle uh, plus 35 degrees, which wasn't great. Just got a little bit distracted on the departure, um, and I pr probably should have left uh, flaps extended until we made the turn. Um, there was no real need to um, bug up with the speed up to the whatever it was, flaps up 220 or 210 or so. Should have kept the speed a little bit lower and uh, tried to make that tighter turn, focusing on speed, attitude, and bank angle. But yeah, next time we'll um, we'll focus on that a little bit more. Um, landing details actually last time were pretty good as well. Just inside the touchdown markers there, uh, but the sim, um, yeah, just that stutter last time it just breaks the immersion again. But uh, what we'll do anyway is we'll drive on with this flight. Um, I haven't done the sim brief um, plan or anything yet, so what I'll do is I'll just uh, get the sim set up here, um, and we're going to be uh, going essentially um, like it, uh, we're going to be doing a transit um, config. So it's pretty much going to be exactly like this probably maybe like 2500 kilos maybe what, what it was last time yeah, it was probably a little bit less uh, or a little bit more sorry um, and then the panel lights here at the back and then up here and uh, we'll get the electrical hydraulic pumps on wheel well light can go on as well and then everything else is fine yacht amper was on everything was probably as we would have left it. Uh, we get the window heats on as well. Uh, one, two, three, four, and then that's it. That's good. Um, check the recall. Uh, so we basically uh, will just be loading up in a second and doing our flight plan. Uh, so let me just see if I can get GSX here. I had a problem with this last time. Um, but I think if you restart the uh, Koa, I think it's the Ko U Atto driver, um, it seems to fix some issues. So I've got that bound here to a shortcut on my taskbar, so we'll see if that works next time. But what I'll just do for testing this out is I will um, request the catering service and we'll see what will happen. So, not going to be Air France. Uh, we'll try service air. Catering vehicles are on their way. Okay, so that's a bit better. So we've got all the GSX stuff here, which is good. And here they come. God, it does look it does look really good, doesn't it? The wet weather effects and stuff. That looks pretty awesome. The rain and stuff. Just be brilliant if BMDG can actually implement the wipers. Do you know the wipers working? If they could do a wipers, weather radar, weather radar, and um, the EFB, God, we'd be set. That'd be awesome. Yep, 
Yeah, well, this is working away anyway. I'm just going to do the uh, sim brief, uh, sim brief dispatch, and get our flight plan going. So it's saying waiting for my action, open right entry aft, right entry forward. Uh, it usually should do that itself, but if it wants me to do it this time, I just briefly had a internet disconnect there I think as well, so I'm not sure if that had something to do with it. Which seems to be kind of also making the sim stutter a little bit, which isn't ideal. Uh, it should come back here now in a sec. Yeah, so I think it's back. Doors still aren't open, so what I'll do is... Uh, forward and aft. Now, uh, let's see if... Okay, it's wrong. Um, I'm just wondering now how we can check the ATIS because I actually don't have this connected yet. And what would be the ATIS here? I bring up Navigraph and see if I can dial it in. That was our last flight plan, but we can still ring up the charts. One one eight three eight zero. So let's see if we can dial that in. Okay, it's closing the door there automatically, which is good. Yeah, I can't seem to do this ATIS in. 
Okay. Uh, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to drive on with the. Um, I'm going to uh, drive on with this uh, Simbrief flight plan, and if anything changes via ATC, I'm actually going to change the uh, SIDs and stars that I have. But it does look like uh, we might have um, a different entry into Manchester this time. So, yeah, we'll see about that on here. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be uh, arriving into runway 05 right, which will be a first for Manchester, so that will be interesting. Okay, so everything else seems to look good, so what I'm going to just do is generate, and while that's working away, I'm going to get GSX to get us boarding. Boarding requested. Do you want to board crew? No, so crew will already be on, so we'll leave that off and then I can start our Simbri flight plan. few stutters here now which doesn't bode well. Um, I wonder if that's just GSX. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, that all looks good. Uh, call sign is actually the same as our flight number, which is fine. Passengers boarding starting. And what I'm gonna have to do is, I'm actually gonna get back inside here. Schedule of departure time is actually 16.05 UTC, so a little bit of time. So I'll bring this over here. Um, and I can unload this and we load our latest one. Okay, so it looks like we might have a straight out departure, uh, runway 12. Or will we have a circling departure? Yeah, it looks like we might have a circling departure. Yeah. So runway 12. Which actually I think is probably correct from last time because I, I had a tailwind coming in here. So I should have uh, I should have been landing runway 12. But anyway, so this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing the VESA 1 mic departure transition through VESAN, which is correct. And we're coming all the way up here. And we finish here, and it doesn't have us going on to any approaches. So, uh, the 05 right arrival, transitioning through Dane. Um, Which looks correct, does it? Or am I going via? Yeah. 
So let's see what approaches we're offered. So we've got the ILS 5 right, the localizer or the VOR. Um, we've got also got an. We don't have an RNAV 5 right. Yeah, okay, so it'll be ILS runway 5 right. And then transition, we will transition via final. So we were going to come out here and then. Doesn't make any sense to have us looping in here and then. Does this work? I think this will work. But now, what it's going to. Let me just Passengers see if I can check the coming. charts here. So. Uh, flight level 080 at Dane. And then we're going direct Manchester, Manchester 1, center fix 05 right. Uh, so, do you know what I might do? I might actually see if I can maybe change that and have that. Because it seems to be. Thousand passengers boarding starting. And we've got to get down to three thousand. So that's correct there, down to MCT, MCT1, okay so what I might do is change this and what if I go ILS 05 right, what will this say? In here and then loop out. Okay, this could make sense. So you're kind of 8,000 over the airport and then outwards. Alright, let's just run with it. That all looks fine. This is saying Teal Atis 118370. Don't have anything on comms though. Um, anyway, so what I can do is just let's bring up the. Uh, let's request flight clearance first. Bow Bay Tower, Blue Max 4 at 3 Dark. Parking 57, request clearance to Manchester with information Tango. Blue Max 4374, clear to Manchester. Fire first 1 Mike, departure, runway 12, initial climb 3200, then as file, squawk 6552. Clear to Manchester, fire first 1 Mike, departure, runway 12, initial climb 3200, then as file, squawk 6552. Blue Max 374. Blue Max 4374, read back correct. Report when ready. We'll report when ready. Blue Max 4374. Passengers bus is coming. Okay, so let's get the fuel truck. Uh, everything else in this looks good. Uh, departure briefing. Uh, taking off runway 12. Uh, so we're probably going to be just uh, out here down via Whiskey and then yeah, that's all easy. 
Passengers boarding starting. Could be a low visibility takeoff after clearing up some of it there now, so takeoff run available. Okay, so we've got 2,400 meters thereabouts, so that's fine, plenty of room. And then the actual departure, we'll get this plugged in and the base of one mic. Uh, so, at, so basically above 800 feet, we can start our left hand turn. At, uh, what is it, Dare? Uh, climb on 107, track 800, turn left. Hello. Track 324 and intercept the VOV radio 354 to Vesan. Still has the. Okay, that's fine, all good. Minimum climb gradient, yeah, we're going to need all that. And then climb straight ahead. Routing. Climb straight ahead to 1100, then depart on your direction. Okay, that's fine. We're actually going to be following the SID here, so that's all good for us. Transition altitude 5000. These SIDs are also minimum noise routings. Okay. That all looks good. Uh, so let's actually get our uh, fueling uh, in here. Let's get that done. Uh, so block fuel is 6.2, slightly more than I would have expected actually, 6200, uh, actually we can probably have this as an exact 6118, uh, let's get this started, uh, passengers uh, 160, uh, cargo is 2,000 in the front side and 2,192 in the rear just to keep it easy. So 87% load factor. That's fine. And let's get our everything started here. FMC ident. We've got our pause in it. Uh, LFOB. Liam Foxtrot, Oscar Bravo. That matches up to our pause in it, which is good. So we can start our routing. And we are going to echo Gov Charlie Charlie, which is correct as far as I'm aware. Uh, yeah, you think I'd know this from <laughs> the amount of times we've flown into it, but. Uh, da da da. Yeah. EDCC 105 right. And our flight number is. Ringer UK. I think it's the same as our call sign. Four three seven four. Oh, I've actually forgotten to. Uh, forgotten to do um, FSLTM. So let me just get this uh, set there now. Uh, do, do, do. We can go ahead and start. While that's working away there, we can go back. Looks like it's loading some traffic in. Got some whiz air there, which is good. So let's just go back to the EFB. Whoa. And let's get our flight plan put in. And on our departure, we are the uh, less than one mic, wasn't it? Less than one mic. Runway one two. Less than one mic. Uh, that's all good. Uh, to Vesan, and then we are UL six one three. To 
to Lima 613 UN 57 Ratuk uh, via Sandy that's slightly that's actually different there now so we'll try to delete that so it's uh, so that's too that's different as well, so I have to delete these UL613 to Sovat and then Lima613 to Sandy I'm going to try UN57 That's correct And then Tango420 Well in, that's correct And then Elvas And then on to our arrival. We go have Charlie Charlie. And our arrival is 05 right. Uh, and it is the Elvas 1 Mike arrival. ILS uh, 05 right. And we're transitioning via MCT 1. That all looks good. We've got our 800 uh, fix here. 800 foot fix. Uh, so let's check the plan page. Intercept, that's fine. So we've got uh, the DER 12. The R, that's fine, center. 107 track, 800 feet, then we begin our left hand turn. Intercept on uh, 324 track, and the Vesan on 354 up here. Good, Elvo at two zero. Elvas and then Kushi at 250 knots, Dane 230 knots, and flight level 080. Do we have a discontinuity? It looks like we do, so let's just step that out there. So we should be going Dane to MCT. So we're going to bring this up to here. That looks good. And then Outbound
Right and turn to center fix, final fix. That looks good. MCT, MCT is 3000 or above, which is fine. And then we can, I suppose, have a speed restriction. 3000 above it, yeah, and then 3000 hard limit at this here. And then we touch down at runway. Um, but I suppose we could have MCT minus 14, like a hard speed limit, I suppose, of maybe. Yeah, this should be fine actually. Once we get to 210, we should be good. 210, flat 5 maybe, and then we make this turn. Yeah, we'll see, we can always wind the speed down anyway. Okay, I think that looks good. And really nearly on time for pushback. Activate, excuse. And let's bring up the OFP again. So cost index of 40. Uh, reserves are 1.1. Uh, fueling is done, zero fuel weight. Cruise altitude I think was 34,000. Yep, 34,000. Top of climb wind, 282 at 40. And transition altitude is 5001. Excuse, N1 limit. So now we can start doing our takeoff performance calculations and we can actually just get rid of the fuel truck. So we've got fuel, and while we're waiting for a few other things, let's uh, just before... Uh, so we can get this um, on the road a little bit quicker. Fuel pumps are all on, let's just get the APU started. Okay, that's fine, and what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to do the performance calculation. Uh, runway 1-2, full condition, uh, we will say good to medium, uh, medium. Uh, wind, it would be nice to be able to get the ATIS in the sim at the moment, but I can't change the, how do I change the ATIS? Away to our approach, request push and start, I can't, um, Instead, ATIS. I wonder if we can just get like a Paris ATIS, maybe, or Teal ATIS. Let's see if they come on the radio. Nothing. Well, it's not the correct frequency, first of all, I suppose, so. Uh, Is there another one? Bove? Uh, Bove Tower Brooch. Hmm. The Gaul Approach. 
goal, the goal, the goal. So you don't have anything, like, I mean... Because I've set the time differently in the sim to what it is in real life, so I don't know if it just changes the time of day and it's still using those winds and stuff, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drive it on and uh, with the winds that I'm getting in real life, so I'm going to see if they'll match the sim then. So, uh, winds we've got are... Uh, what do we have? It's basically saying zero... Zero knots, essentially. It's dead cam. An outside temperature of five, it's saying, which is correct. So maybe it is. Maybe it is right. And uh, it's saying the Q and H is one, uh, one zero, one one. Everything else is auto uh, because we've got clouds and we had some showers earlier. Uh, we're going to have engine anti-ice on because we're below 10 degrees. Uh, and APU actually now can go on as well at the moment. And we will get the APU bleeds on. And we can disconnect the ground power. Um, Q and H is 1011, so we'll set that. That looks thereabouts. Uh, take off weight uh, 66,300. And we've got a CG of 18.8. Okay, let's see what this gives us. Probably full power. Ah, oh, slightly reduced. Um, so flat five, and no assumed temperature takeoff. Okay. The speeds are quite interesting, actually. Uh, so no selected temperature. We're going to have derated takeoff. Noise abatement uh, departure procedure, maximum noise abatement departure procedure, so 92.4% N1, which looks correct. Um, takeoff will be flaps 5, CG trims 5.9, and then our V1 is 121, 141, so we'll use 140, and 148, which is correct. Okay, that all looks good. So we'll get 148 set in here. Uh, we'll get the heading set to runway heading. Thereabouts. And everything else I think looks good. Um, trim of 6.25 units. So what we're going to be doing is we're go not going to be retracting flaps until we make that left-hand turn. Um, and I'm just going to bug up to the flap 5 speed. And I think everything else looks good after that. So I think I can request for push. But let's just do our quick uh, checks here. So pack signs are on and auto. On an auto. Uh, electrical hydraulic pumps are on, yaw damper is on, window heats are on, fuel pumps are on, APU start on monitor, APU bleeds are on, packs are auto, ISO valve is open, altimeter is set, transponder is set, fueling loading boarding is completed, takeoff data is set, cruise altitude pressurization panel is set, landing altitude pressurization panel is set. MCP is set, flight directors are on, and radio frequencies are set, 
might actually just do is get the uh, VORs in here just to monitor our distances. Uh, so accepting EOV 109.65. And that's our radio. So uh, that looks fine. Uh, everything else, I think, looks set. Except what we can do is we can set our course, and I might actually just set that on the other one. So we're intercepting the 354 radio. 354, and we're going to have 10965. Uh, set. There, so that looks good. They're both set. So basically, and climb turn on track 107. Turn left at 800 feet to heading of 324. So I'm actually going to get this heading set in here. So we're going to go heading 324. So out, turn left, intercept this heading, and then once we uh, have this, uh, it'll be intercepting the 354 radio um, from uh, BOV. So that's all good. Okay, commence request, push and start, 10 minutes over. Shocks removed, parking brake set. Um, prepare for pushback and departure. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Departure check completed, bypass pin inserted. Release parking brakes. Commencing push. All engines clear, start at will.
carry the microphone away from my uh, mouth there for a little bit so just saying music off uh, starting push and commencing engine number two start Set parking brakes. Set. Waiting your confirmation for a good engine start. Okay, starting engine number one. Okay, two good engine starts. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Okay, gens one and two can come on. And packs can go auto. Ice valve is auto. AP bleed off. AP off. Unlocking gear. Start switch is continuous. Go beats on. Setting flat five. Tow track disconnected. Oh, right Wipers can removed. Left is clear, right is clear. And we're going to set trim of uh, 6.25. That was 5.9 in the sim, but 6.25 according to takeoff performance tool. So we're going to have LNAV for some LNAV guidance and auto throttle can come on. So uh, we've got engine anti-ice as well. So gens 1 and 2 on. Uh, engine 1 and 2 start switches are continuous. Probe heats are on. Wing and engine anti-ice engine anti is on. Engine 1 and 2 bleeds are on. Recirc fans are auto, ISO valve auto, APU bleed and APU bleed off, flaps 5, elevator trim is 6.25, and flight controls are full and free. Uh, engine instruments are checked. LNAV is enabled, auto throttle arm. And we can request our taxi. Blue Max 4 at 374, request taxi. Blue Max 4 374, taxi to holding point, runway 12. Taxi to holding point, runway 12. Blue Max 4 at 374. Okay, easy. Do our warning uh, recall, take off recall, park and brake. 
Uh, taxi light on. Warning recall. Clear. Taxi lights are on. Auto brake is RTO. Yeah, windsock is completely dead here, so might be correct. Okay, so we are at our holding point, Whiskey. Okay, and let's request ready for departure. So landing Run lights, turn off lights on, traffic on, altimeter, or sorry, uh, traffic is TARA, uh, position lights, strobe and steady. Think we're good to go. Okay, clear for takeoff, set timer. 40% uh, stable, so we'll get auto throttle is disconnected for some reason. Auto throttle engaged. Eight hundred 
feet, we can start our left turn. Zero. Right, we're gonna bug our speed up, up speed. And our track to the stage a flap too early there. Go flap up. Turning up, got quite a lot of back pressure on the stick. Okay, so I think I can bring the autopilot in now. Autopilot, LNAV, VNAV. Setting standard. And we're bang on this radial as well. Or near about near enough. Okay, so we can do after takeoff checklist. Taxi landing, turn off lights off. That was annoying with that Toga disconnect as well. Okay, so uh, we've got autopilot on, auto brake off, gear lever stay there because of the limitation of this trust master. <laughs> Engine start switches are off, uh, runway turn off lights off, taxi lights off, cabin is pressurizing, altimeter is set standard. And that's all good. We're above the cloud level now as well, so uh, anti-ice can come off. Engine anti-ice. Let's give us a little bit of climb thrust. Now we're 
gonna go full climb thrust, well above the noise abatement departure procedures. So that was actually quite a, a risky departure, kind of looking back in it, because um, we um, we had engine anti-ice on, we had low um, climb thrust at climb two, um, whereas we realistically we probably should have just left it at uh, uh, normal climb power. Um, so we had to really watch our speed there. So I was very conscious of not. Um, pitching up too much because we didn't want to bust our altitude at 3200 and we also didn't want to start dropping our speed and get into a stall because we were that flat 5 config as well um, and I actually did uh, retract um, did I retract the flaps a bit too early? possibly but yeah overall it wasn't too bad but yeah that stall and the sim there as well again wasn't great but we're on our way Everything else looks on. Is that the dome light? It's not. What's that? Kind of brightness. Not sure what that is. Oh, that's the light here, yeah. That light. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, this is quite a long uh, SID. Still not out of this yet. Um, 
this all looks fine. Um, this is quite an easy um, star. It's this approach. But I'll just get some winds and stuff put in first. Okay, so we can go um, ascent, it will be 250, ascent winds uh, will be 310, 200, and 100. 288 and 306 and 019 Transition level 5000 And then we can set our Q and H Do we have our ATIS? Arrival Metar Doesn't actually look like it has any Which is interesting Maybe not yet I'll Check that out later on Get the courses set in. Zero five two. Decision altitude is for the ILS 386. Flight level 316, heavy, descend and maintain. Flight level 160, contact to goal, approach 118, get full 15. Descend and maintain. Flight level 160, contact to goal, approach 118, get full 15. Flight level 360, heavy. 386 feet set. Uh, airport elevation is 257 So 300 is set So missed approach climb to 3500 straight ahead to 700 feet And a right turn onto track 186 then as directed That's fine uh, ILS DME reads 0 at runway 5 threshold Procedure max 210 knots. So this outbound here onto our right hand turn is two ten knots. Maybe this is the official um, entry as well, so because it's actually on this as well. Three 
Maintain level three four zero. Contact command center one one eight seven four seven seven. Okay, climbing. Jesus. Climbing maintain. Suppose we can get on some more music. Traffic. Minus nine nine. Metar in the virtual performance tool is saying 1017. Um, and what is it saying? Uh, 0202 knots. Uh, temperature. of three degrees and one zero one seven uh, flap thirty config uh, no significant weather reported no moisture looks like no rain forecasted so everything will be off engine ice off weather over UK. Uh, landing weight, let's see if we can get this. Zero five right, ILS the Elvo one mic arrival parking. We get nine like we usually do. Park nine transition MCT one. Level 370. Maintain 
Uh, so we've got 4.3 tons. We're going to use another one ton. So 63,500. Oh, easy. Uh, so it looks like we can, because we want to get to the end of the runway, uh, and then vacate so we can get as close to the terminal as possible. Uh, Auto brake 2 will get us out at either Uniform or Victor Bravo. So that's fine. Uh, flap 30, it's actually saying VRF 30 plus 5 is 151 knots. So I'm going to go 30 and 151. And there we have our VRF. Uh, we can get our fix rings, fix rings, so runway is zero, five, right. And our four mile, and our ten mile fix rings. Set landing altitude is checked. Radios are set. Localizer ILS frequency and course is set. Morning recall is checked. Altimeter is set 1017 minimums are set 386 approach and missed approach has been briefed and auto brake we can set to auto brake 2 
We need to execute the missed approach. Um, Manchester Although I'm expecting they'll probably vector us. Let me get down a little bit further. Set to it's uh, 30 degrees oh. five for the time being. Strong headwind. Flight level 60. Descend and maintain. 
Struggling to manage kind of a steady descent here. Oh, it's the headwind. I mean, if we have more of a headwind, the rate of descent will stay the same, but our distance will cover it will be shorter. So I don't know, is it?
I was gonna go check. Change the VS. Like we're gonna make our altitude restriction gate at Elvas, flight level two zero zero. Right here, just to get us on profile. We're going VNAV speed, which should keep the speed increasing until we catch our path and then it'll revert to VNAV path. So it'll probably allow us to uh, target speed 284. So we'll have quite a good rate of descent here. Flight 
sure it'd be in our class. FMC speed. Traffic ahead of us. Proceed direct to Doxo using six five Charlie Lima. Neptune one zero kilo. Descent and maintain. Flight level two nine or zero. Descent and maintain. Flight level two nine or zero. Neptune one zero kilo. Speed back here and up. 250 knots. Flight detent. Start helping it out. Should be 250 at Kushi, I think. Yeah. yeah it doesn't look like it's going to be there, so. Oh, it could be actually. I might be right. V 
VNAV intervent is uh, way too harsh. It's completely, it's just dove there into like a 3,000 feet per minute dive, completely ruined our speed just to gain back the path. Ten checks. Landing lights, I'm going to turn off lights on. Charlie Lima, Citizen and Two ten knots, which is our up speed. Like our speed is descending, we're on a hold here at eight zero. Slightly better angle. Oh, there we go. Overflying the runway. Two two one, which we're going to be on, so we're just going to leave it. Flight level 310, you're trying to reach on Alpha. 
Okay, we're fine on the descent. Max of 210 knots on this right hand turn. Gonna start getting us set up now, so we're gonna go continuous. Engine speeds, I uh, can't see us needing our spoiler, so what we'll do is we will arm, we can always disarm if we need to. Uh, altitude's getting away from us a little bit, so we're just going to go flap 5. May need that speed brake after all. Uh, once it settles down, it should rate of descent should pick up. I'm actually just going to completely ignore this because it's just going to take us on this. I don't know what that's playing at. Setting standard pressure. Starting our right hand turn.
I'm gonna go gear down, flat 15. Flap 30. Flap 30 set. Speed brake arm. Gear down 3 green. Spider arms. Auto brake 2. Landing checklist complete. Autopilot auto pilot disconnected my aircraft. That's reverse is stowed. Manual braking. I don't think that fully disconnected the auto brakes there, but that's fine. And what is this, Victor Charlie, which I think is where we were supposed to be getting off, so that was good. Breaks up, Bravo, flaps Julie, coming up. Bravo, Julia, Echo, hold short of runway two, three right, zero at five left, blue max four at three seven four. I'll break off, flight directors off, taxi on, AP on, engine starts off. Manch extra ground, easy pew pew six two, runway vacated. I think that's it for the moment. Uh, let's just bring up the Navigraph charts. So they said Victor Bravo 
Victor Bravo Zulu Bravo hold short of runway 23 right 5 left and the usual spot Bravo essentially Bravo all the way across to Juliet Echo okay easy After landing, checklist, flaps are up, speed brakes retracted, transponder, standby. Uh, lights can go to steady. Uh, APU started. Pro beats are off, engine start switches off, all brake is all off as well. And we wait to turn on the APU bleed in a sec. So Victor, we've got Bravo Zulu to the left of us here. Here on the left. Yeah, the right. Maybe actual uh, easy jet aircraft taxiing there. Gonna be careful going down this like we usually are. And Juliet echoes in here, our usual stand, gate nine. Uh, let's fire up GSX. Uh, parking. Uh, parking 9, even though it's uh, definitely not GA, but uh, request to follow me. No. And we're going to use Swissport.
Beautiful. I don't see a marshaller, but just uh, pause this for a sec because we do want to get lined up correctly so we're going to go a little bit of left Going 737, no marshaller on the stand, unfortunately. But the lighting today, God, it makes it look absolutely beautiful. Anyway, uh, let's get the parking brake on. Uh, APU bleeds, can come on. Uh, APU gens on. And two blues, one red engines. Gonna lose another point there for that Taxi light, runway turn off lights should have come off as well. I, mm, I thought I'd turn them off earlier. Did I turn them back on? I can't remember. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, so the beacon can come off. Wheel well lights can come on. And that is us, I think. Uh, you parked a bit too short, did I? I don't think so. Arshler stuck in here, okay. The boarding requested. Be nice if uh, some of these airports were updated with GSX profiles. That would be ideal. Uh, so ground shocks in place and we can request ground power. God, lighting makes is looking fantastic. I don't know what it is. is Looks sharp. That is really cool actually though to be fair isn't it? Like this just adds a huge amount of immersion. Um, okay so we've got uh, ground power available so let's get that on uh, and then APU can come off, leads off, isovalve Passengers open. the boarding starting. Get the hydraulic pumps off. 
and the fuel pumps as well. And that's good, I think. Yeah, I think that's good for now. Um, I might just check the landing uh, performance there, how we did. Just trying to grab a few screenshots here as well, because it does look pretty magnificent. Um, so let's fire up uh, Pilot's Life, Chapter 2. So what we can do now is we can go Submit Flight. Boom. And actually we can check the time the same. We're supposed to arrive at 17.20. UTC, so we'll check to see roughly what time that might have been. Um, but if we go to our logbook here, 98. Uh, so what was that probably for? Landing lights not off, and well, it's taxi light probably. Yeah, landing light off, taxi light not off. So landing details, uh, 289 feet per minute. Yeah, it's alright. I mean, it gives you a, a 5 out of 5 here, so we take it. And then in terms of touchdown, pretty much nailed touchdown zone. Um, oh, Australia Post. <laughs> uh, but, see the schedule here now is clear, so I can actually schedule new flights. So... Because uh, I'm with um, Ryanair UK, it's giving me the two hubs where I can do them from. Round trip from hubs. Um, but I could do random trips, uh, say short haul, and then uh, selecting just the aircraft that I have. So and then it'll generate that, and then I can see if I want to accept it. Uh, so these are all kind of interesting, uh, but I've, I've kind of done a few of them. So haven't done Nant. Uh, I've done Manchester, Passing Dublin, bus is coming. Brandenburg, Manchester, Stansted to Edinburgh, Edinburgh to Bournemouth, Sandefjord back to Manchester, uh, Stansted, Nant, Edinburgh, London, Stansted to Bergamo. Yeah, so, and then random continued trips regenerate. Stansted, yeah. So. I'm s we'll see, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do yet. Um, I might even see if I can change airline. A bit of variety. Um, and we can see here then as well on the landing report from uh, Sim Toolkit Pro. Passengers to boarding starting. Uh, minus 327 feet per minute. Yeah, kind of nailed the touchdown is on there as well. Thereabouts. Central line deviation, threshold distance. That's pretty good. Flare could have done a little bit. Uh, could have flared a little bit more, I would say, but... All in all, it was pretty good. Very happy with it. Okay, um, well, until the next video, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching if you have, and drop a like and a comment if you'd like me to, s if you'd like to see me do any flights that you might have in mind. Um, yeah, until the next video, I will catch you then.